Hello everyone. I hope you all are doing great. So today I came with a new topic that is T context load component. And the usage of this component is very important in talent job. This component you can uh, like on a summary level, if I uh, make you understand that if you want to deploy a talent job and in future case, if there is any change in connection parameters and you don't want to again uh, change in the job and then again build it and then again deploy in the production, if you want to save your time in these steps, then we should always use the T context load. How to do it? Let me tell you. Suppose you have an environmental variable file in any format, okay? So I have taken text format and here I have provided username, port, host and schema. Schema is your uh, that MySQL DB schema and the password, whatever parameters you have for your connection, just mention here. Okay. And this is the file which will be in my production server or in basically on server from where my job will be picking up the uh, file. Okay. I have mentioned my all credentials here and I have saved, saved this file with the name of environment variable. Now, what the first thing I'm going to do in my talent job, like here I have all my talent job prepared, but in the uh, pre-job part first I will call this file okay so I have I call this file and you can see that there is only key and value which is separated by a separator okay no header nothing so I have chosen header as zero footer zero limited nothing and field separator which is equals to and you please notice here that after the key I have given a space and then the equals to and then space so same thing you need to mention here also okay whatever your field separator it is can it can be semicolon it can be anything all right so this is the calling of file and here in the schema I have mentioned key and value which is my uh, credentials right and after that I am loading it into context load what is context load if just try to understand with the name only that we have a context group and we are loading the value into it okay right now if you will go to context type you have nothing there is no context variables right so it will it will still call and then i'm going to print it now when you will cl uh, click on this you can see that there are two options if a variable loaded but not in the context then you can word error or info what it what it means that in the file you have seen there is a user port host schema and password this is the context variable name so if it is not present in my context variable then please throw in an error okay but and other uh, option is if a variable in the context is there but it the value is not loaded then again you can choose out of any option uh, out of these three options okay i have chosen if the variable loaded but not in, in the context group okay then i it will throw you error so uh this step and this uh you can say that this is a very generic way to build a production job in talent so that right and you can see that the error is uh, error is thrown here which is parameter user is a new parameter of t context load as we haven't mentioned here any parameter that's why it is throwing error it is loading value from the file but it is not it you cannot use it in job because there is no context variable here okay so now moving to the next step in the context part i have created a demo name context if you will uh, just you ha i hope you know how to create a context group we call it a group and I have mentioned all the this is the same name which is mentioned here okay same name now you can see that okay so I will just drag and drop this in the my context now if I run should it show uh, so show me error like before like this thing let's just check So the basic of component, if it is clear to you, you will be able to do anything in talent. See, the error is gone because the parameters here <clears throat> mentioned. So it passed the value from the file into this context parameter. Now, there is one question. If instead of user, if I just 
do this okay there is a difference in user name and here also okay the context uh, variable name is this and the in the file it is this what will happen okay i have just did the changes in the file only nothing in the talent job see it threw me error so always make sure that the uh, the key which is used in the file it should be same as mentioned in the context group in your job okay so the similar name should be because just uh, let's go with the flow it it is taking key and value from your file okay now it is searching key in your context group and then dumping the value from the file into this your context variable so this is the first part of the t context load now from this okay this is just an example i have taken my sql input component and instead in the host part i will just use t context dot control plus space and host okay similarly if we will be using in all the so every one has different uh, like how they want to work in the talent job but the rule is same for uh, that the spellings and all should be the same while working with the t context load okay so the database here means your schema part like which schema you want to read from your mysql db I hope this is clear till now. Uh, in the future, if suppose your username got changed or your host name got changed, so instead of changing in the talent job, you will directly change in the file, which is the most easy way. And it will, and you have to just run your talent job. You have nothing to do with your talent job, okay? And it will perfectly work for you. So this is the best approach while working in the production with a talent job so i hope this way you can pass and it is clear to you how to uh, work with t context load so if i want to change the schema like instead of school i want to change as amp i changed here save the file and uh, save the file in my server from where it will be picking it up and if i run the job it will not impact my job at, at all okay so i hope it is very uh, crystal clear and uh, no uh, complex thing about the context load but the right way is to use the basic rules the rule is always use context uh, name as same mentioned in the file and uh, the separator should be exactly mentioned here in the file if if you will just uh, let me just remove space from the here okay now if i will print the value it will be printing wrong so separator plus uh, it is case sensitive okay that's it so when you will be using it is the error this one so you can try uh, whatever doubts you have you you can just try with this uh, of, uh, count component and uh, let me know if i can solve it okay thank you Bye-bye.